Okay. All right. So the Ford Center, located here in Evansville, uh, hosts about 100 events every year and have a cap capacity of about 11,000 people at each event. It's over a million people. Um, but they are currently losing money based on the fact that they don't have a way to collect and to utilize the data that will then generate um, reports based on the customer's behavior leading to maximization of their profits. Uh, I'm Braxton Lane. This is Alton. This is Carlos, and we're here to present these events. We found that some of the problems that event staffs and event owners are having is that they have a finite amount of money they can make on ticket sales. They use, spend this money on upkeep, so they got to find a way to maximize their profits on non-ticket sales. Other issues they're also having is with congestion and safety issues. All right, so our solution is these events. There'll be a crowd management service that'll be device-led, as you can see based on our graph. Um, it'll all start when the customer downloads the app or logs onto the Wi-Fi, and then it'll start a real-time data collection. Um, and then that data collection will help generate reports for the management of the venue that will uh, allow them to forecast based on the consumer behavior inside uh, of the event. Um, currently, there's five strategies that are used in, in venues that um, help limit congestion and safety issues, um, and we'll get to those in just a moment. Our primary customer for this service is going to be the owners and the managers, managers of arenas, venues, and theaters. Uh, through our primary research, we spoke to Bob Hodley. He is the event manager at uh, the Ford Center here in Evansville. He validated our idea, saying that it does have a basis that it could solve some of these problems that he has for him. However, we don't have a meeting with him until next week, so we'll be getting some more information. And uh, we also spoke to Dave Christensen who is the Vice President of Operations at his company, Crowd Management Services. And what they do there is they staff events. Uh, we learned that every venue has their own individualized plan, at least through his company, where they um, do staff and security. So for example, at the beginning of an event, they have more security at the gates since people are coming in, and then they have to filter the security throughout the event as time goes on. However, though, how they work now is through a control center and they use uh, walkie-talkies to communicate, and also they only have uh, estimations about how many people are there, and they can only get that information every 15 minutes. So Dave also validated ours, saying that the real-time tracking and the pinpoint precision of our tracking would definitely be beneficial, uh, especially since there are 200 uh, venues that hold over 20,000 people, and over 1,300 venues that hold at least 3,000 people, with hundreds of thousands of people going to these events. Uh, every year, and they are who will populate this data. Like Braxton said, once they download the app or log onto the Wi Fi, they will start sending us a signal. And uh, this is very scalable since events do not only happen here in Evansville, they happen all around the world. And we have the infrastructure as far as uh, mobile devices and the ability to create an app and provide Wi Fi. Alright, so there's five uh, strategies that are currently used. The first three are all pretty similar. Uh, wayfinding is basically setting up a sign with an arrow pointing direction to go. Temporary closings is closing down a certain section so people have to go the way you want them to. And then the uh, customer flow management is setting up the ropes that go around the line um, to kind of keep people where you want them. Um, easy events would help with all three of these basically in the same way by allowing you to put what you want the customer to see right on their phone, seeing what's closed, what direction they should be going, the quickest way to their seats, the quickest way to hear, whatever. The uh, queue management is you can't prevent lines. Lines are going to happen, but lines cause frustration for people standing in them. Um, so currently, they put up a TV with something going on on the TV to distract them, or sales going on with T-shirts or something like that to kind of distract and keep keep the tempers down. Um, but with these events, you'd be able to see the length of the line before you ever even got out of your seat. So you'd be able to go when there's a time that the line is manageable for you. Um, and then the rapid deployment is um, events have to keep security and staff spread out across their uh, venue so they can get to an emergency situation as fast as possible. Um, and then with easy events, you'd be able to see where that staff is and you'd be able to keep them spread out to make sure they weren't getting bunched up and then you would be able to get to any emergency um, faster. So. Like Braxton just said, easy events have all these features and this is how, um, now I'm explaining how easy event works. Not only from the consumer standpoint, from the business standpoint, First up is going to be the consumer standpoint. So you go to the event at the Ford Center, you see these uh, promotions, tags up, saying download, easy event, get a free popcorn. So the consumer downloads it, and you 
said join event, and now you're live. You have live feed in where the seats are and on the concourse outside of the court center, like where those concession stands are located. Right here, you can show you where your seat's located, the quickest possible route to get there. And then this is an example of how it looked like in the concourse. This is an outside event, but it's the same concept. So you'll be able to see a live feed all around the concourse, how long the wait lines are for stands of hot dogs, drinks, bathroom lines, etc. And from the business standpoint, you're constantly collecting all this data. No matter if this data it can be like the average wait time at stand A or pressure points, how do you enter the stadium, they're constantly collecting this. And then the data that you gather, you can make reports. The business can determine, okay, the pressure points at location A, they're a problem. We saw this last event. So now, how can we fix this? Also, with outside parking, pressure points there, how are we going to fix that outside? And this is what the business would do on the aspect of these events. Uh, next, we're going to go into the business model. We'll start out with the value proposition. So for event planners and venue administration, we need to capture data from every person that walks into an event. Easy events can effortlessly and accurately aggregate data from every event goer and turn it into valuable information to turn into predictive analytics. Uh, unlike costly camera-based approaches, Easy Events can provide real-time, accurate crowd management data at low costs with the ability to provide detailed reports for management to maximize their profit. And now for the key resources. Um, some of the key resources we would need would be the application. We would also need a tech team not only to create this application but to constantly update it throughout the year. We need the Wi-Fi network in order to be able to track the crowds. And Katira would also be a resource because they said they're providing technology that would help us. Once we've got these resources, we want to contact event staff, we want to sell this product to them, and in return we want to maximize their profits throughout their events. And on our end, we want to keep costs low by developing the product in-house. metrics for short-term goals we want to do. We want to find potential prospects. We want to develop events and also we want to make calls, start thinking nationally. And our long-term goal is having efficient, easy events that event staff owners believe that this is a significant investment. Also, we want to look from moving our market from just the Ford Center Evansville, expanding it nationally and possibly worldwide. We're going to get into the customer segments next, or customer relationship, I'm sorry. Uh, it will be a co-creation since we want to make the most effective app possible. We want to work with these event managers, uh, event staffing, in order to get them uh, what they need. And also, we will be helping them out with their day-to-day -day, uh, lives, not changing them, just working in the background as they work, and then at the end to be able to uh, develop or give them a report. And then for our segment and channels, uh, this is a very niche market. It's a specialized uh, market that we're attacking. And it'll, <laughs> it's also multi-sided, uh, meaning that we have the business side of the app as well as the event goer side of the app. And then for our channel, we have decided to go direct to consumer just to be the most cost effective. All right, as Carlos said, uh, we're, not, we're not trying to change the way that the management does the event, hosts the event. We're simply trying to add to it. We're going to add the reports. We're going to add a way for them to collect the data and then forecast based on their customer's behavior, in turn, maximizing the profits. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Nice. Thanks, guys.